Hey, welcome everybody. It's the Jack Zoo launch day and we are super thrilled that you're here. Thank you for coming and thank you for being with us. As your reward, you get to watch a couple of goofballs play video games for a little while. Sounds like a great way to spend your evening, honestly. Yeah, it's high, I mean, there are. it's better than some of the alternatives out there. Or maybe a couple. Um, we're going to have fun tonight. We're going to, we're, we're celebrating. We're really thankful. We're thankful for you guys. Thank you for supporting what we're doing and for, for being excited with us about this new book. Um, we're going to, tonight we're going to give away a lot of cool stuff and I'm excited about that. We're going to play. Um, I think the stakes are very, very high. I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. For us. Um, but I'm, I just want to say thank you again to you guys, and uh, that I'm really proud of Josiah for this, the work he's done on on, on Jack Zulu. This is uh, this was uh, definitely a labor of love for us, mm -hmm. and it was a thrill, like a huge bucket list kind of thing, to be able to tell this story with my son. I'm not really proud of you. It You're not. You've done it like ten times. It's not that impressive. No big deal. Well, I had to carry some dead weight in this one, so that made it that made it that was, uh, pretty exciting uh, thing. So, uh, it's launch day. We're very thrilled that you're with us, and I'm going to welcome now, because I'm obviously a terrible host, we're going to welcome the hostess for the evening, and that is G Gina Smith. Come on nice. down. So, I would like to say, I would like to say that I've always dreamt of welcoming people into our home so that they could come and watch my kid play video games. Hmm. Um, I'm going to... It's every mother's dream. <laughs> <laughs> Here well, I, I am. I'm, I have to reject every judgmental thing I've ever thought in my head about that. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we, we, it is Galaga from 19, the 1980s. We are so. going back in time, yes. It's not uh, Fortnite, which our kids definitely don't have, probably haven't played in in a day or so. Oh, don't no say that. Don't, you don't don't hang me out to dry like. Don't out, don't out the kids. <laughs> yeah. um, the truth is, we're not a huge video game family. Um, we mostly just listen to classical music and uh, play our violins in unison. In in unison, no harmony. We're not we're not into that modern harmony <laughs> stuff. It's too complicated. Uh, <laughs> but we and we take tea out on the lawn and uh, occasionally, occasionally a little bit of croquet. Mm -hmm. um, actually, uh, we do play croquet, and croquet is an awesome sport. But um, yeah, we're we're in, uh, we're. I used to play this when I was a kid, and now I'm a man, and so and nothing has changed. And I'm still just a as kid. good as I was then um, at, at video games, but I really haven't progressed. Like video games have moved on, but I, I'm still like Super Mario Two is like a little bit out of my range. So I'm like a Super Mario Galaga that kind of a. Kind of guy. Space Invaders, really, but, but uh, we're pretty modern with Galaga. Okay, my turn to talk. Okay. Uh, so we are going to give away a lot of things this evening. Um, uh, are we starting with a giveaway, or are we just going to show them everything that's coming? Okay, so, so we have hats that we're giving away. Um, the new Green Ember, what are we calling that, a beanie? Um, it's a beanie. It's Cotton, a beanie. Soft. It's like this, but it's, wool, it's wool, green like the green ember. Woolen hat. Oh, yeah. Notice you're not Have our trucker hat. Stuff. Um, where am I handing this stuff? I'm giving it. I want to see it. Toss it. Oh, okay. okay. We're giving away t-shirts. The, uh, the fight back t-shirt. The mended wood t-shirt. My, maybe my personal favorite. We are, we do have some Jack Zulu swag to hand out as well. Um, this is a new uh, Green Ember Design t-shirt. Oh, are you wearing oh, this? Oh, I'm wearing it. Are you trying to, what are you okay. doing? Ooh. Never mind, don't worry about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> we have new ornaments this year. Really pretty. So mm. we'll give away a couple of those. We do have a new mug design. I am a big fan. I we, I think we have two of them and they're always in use. So I'll drink out of it today. We're gonna, did that, you really? That this very, very mug, one? Drink, the, did you take somebody. this tag out of it before you? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, we've got a new tote bag, so we'll be sending one of those out. Um, oh man, he's still handing me stuff. Definitely so a signed set of Green Ember books. Um, are we are we giving away a Jack Zulu book tonight? Or we're giving away a bunch of Jack Zulu books. Uh, actually, okay, a bunch of Zach, Jack Zulu five. Books. Maybe if signed books. So yeah, you got a great chance of winning a signed book. I don't know how many people are here right now, but. Um, yeah, you got a great chance to win something tonight, so stay 
tuned. Um, I think that people have uh, been answering questions. No, asking questions. <laughs> that would be convenient if they would just answer. If, they just, yeah, if you just, you just already answer, have the answers answer to the Answer questions, questions in the comments, please. <laughs> No, uh, people who have asked questions, we're going to ad address those. Also, our first signed Jack Zulu is going to go to Sarah Twinkle. Hey, hey good job, Sarah hey, Twinkle. Hey, That's here awesome. Oh, here it comes. Brace yourselves. <laughs> we're trying out the new poppers. Oh, gosh, don't shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'm so scared right now. Ah! <laughs> so wow. you see that how it's that you twist that really like that. There you go. You'll get nice. it. Nice. Oh wow. So whew. that is Those should not be indoors. That is whew. We're gonna have a nice um, we're gonna have quite a mess. Okay, so So Sarah, congratulations. Yeah, Sarah, yeah. way to go. Great job. Um are you guys how is this game so thing? So why don't you start? Tonight? You play okay. you start we're 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 gonna battle against each other and you start with the first game, get warmed up. And then you want to ask a question? Is that yeah, yeah, okay. totally. Okay. All right. um, a couple of age questions. People are asking, like, what age is this geared toward? Oh, okay. And, like, well, would teens like it? Or is it mostly younger? What What's your take on I that? I think we should. I, I want to distract your side as much as possible I'm while he's playing. Um, does this count? Is this for is This, this counts. Yeah, everything, everything counts. Oh, okay. it is on. Um, how loud is his? <laughs> is that, like, so I'm annoying? I'm sure they'll, they'll figure it out. Um, Just answer hopefully. the question. Uh, Wait, what's the question? So the question is, what age group is it for? And I would just say, like, if you're familiar with the Green Ember stuff, it's pretty much for the same age group. Middle grade book. It might skew a little bit older for some people, depending on your kind of your standards, but we really wrote it for, I mean, any age. But um, Like, if you grew up reading the Green Ember and you're a little bit older now, this might be, like, the, the, the right next book for you to read. Yeah, the sweet spot, maybe. But a lot of but kids who are probably, you know, kids who are seven or eight would... A lot of kids through seven, eight would enjoy this too. I think so. Yeah, it kind of depends. It gets there's intensity to it, but not necessarily any more than there is in the Green Ember books. So Josiah, yeah, somebody is. wants to know how old were you when you started writing fiction? Fiction. Um, would we like to to talk about the earliest? Okay. Fiction. Well, how old were you when you started writing fiction? I was your homeschool <laughs> teacher. I, I might have. I might have access to some of that oh, stuff. Oh, no. So there yeah. was one I, that I wrote when I was, I think, like five or six. It was called, um, I think, Escape from the Onion Patch. And it was about oh. these onions. That, and I, I think Uncle Andrew, or my Uncle Andrew, he's not your Uncle Andrew, probably. He is not. Uh, but our publisher, Andrew McKay, I think, still has that. And it was about these onions who, like, got transported to an onion patch. And they were getting, like, sliced up. And they... They Honestly, had to escape think, the onion patch. I think you peeked at that. <laughs> Let's hope not. That was that was top notch. Oh that was man. Good stuff. Um, Sam, people are concerned that you, now that you have this new series out, you're gonna stop writing Green Ember books. Right. Is it your turn? Yeah. Well, no, it's you... still my it's still my game. Okay, good. Oh, ahead. okay. Sorry, I mean, I'm interrupting. Are you gonna stop? Are you gonna stop writing Green Ember? Uh, am I gonna stop writing Green Ember games? Uh, <laughs> Green Ember <laughs> stories. He's already distracted. Um, no, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, if if I'm able to, I my goal is to be able to do that, um, to keep doing that. As I've got a lot of ideas in the Green Ember world. The green, as you know, the Green Ember world is kind of big. Uh, if you've just read the main four, then there's already six other books you can read. Um, two of which are really are big, and, and four of which are kind of smaller. But um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of lot more stories to be told in the Green Ember world, and I hope that uh, I hope I get a chance to do that. Uh, that that's my that's my goal. Cool, cool. Um, do you guys have plans for this book, Jack Zulu and the Waylanders Key? Do you have plans for that to become a series, or is this just a one-off thing? What do you think, buddy? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think expect more Jack Zulu. Hopefully, yeah. we're willing. Yeah, we're working on the book two now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why, good, um, since we're talking about, since we're playing a video game from the 80s, why, why the 80s? Why is that the setting for the time period for this book? Um, I would say, uh, I think there's something, <laughs> it's hard. There's something about that time frame that's, that's, uh, particularly exciting to me as a, like, a, because that was my childhood and it's a lot of the stories that I loved growing up and. I think I passed on a lot of that love to you for those mm -hmm. kinds of stories. Um, 
And there's just something compelling about like kids on bikes without cell phones. That's kind of like a fun, uh, the, the limits involved with that are really cool. What do you think, Josiah? What do you, what fascinates you about the 80s? I, I don't really understand it fully. I think a lot of kids my age are kind of fascinated with that time period. Um, I think a lot of the stories that we love come from there. You know, Star mm-hmm. Wars, uh, Indiana Jones, things like that. That's kind of, those are the fairy tales of our generation. So yeah. something about setting this story, this you know high fantasy adventure in that time period feels right. Yeah. yeah I'm exactly. about to get destroyed by this alien. Who's, who's rooting for Josiah and who's rooting for Sam? I think that's the question that we, we gotta ask ourselves. Like who, who do you yeah, think's gonna I win? I can't choose a favorite. I don't yes, think that that's, you know it's me. I mean, it, it is Josiah, but I can't like officially do that because I'm married to Sam, that's so fair, you know. Sam's pretty competitive. Um. <laughs> are, are the people seeing this? What what he's doing? Okay, well, that's good. I don't know how to interact with what's going on in front of me. If I if I if my ship explodes, that's bad. Okay, okay. Just like so it's still was... there, so we're in good shape. Yeah, we're in great shape. <laughs> oh, uh, Sam, can you bring oh. back the mullet? He can. Is that, in, mullet. is that in your? I could. I could. Let's let's vote. Who wants uh, in the comments? Who would like you to see me with the mullet? You say for him to bring back the mullet. We can't be friends. So just keep that in mind. All right, all right. Let's trade places. And you, um, oh. you, uh, these chairs are really squeaky. So apologies. Can we some give something else away? That's a good idea. Um, well, that's what they're seeing. Okay. Ooh, we forgot to thank our sponsor. Oh yeah, we need to take oh. them. Appalachiano's Pizza, somewhere in that vicinity. Irish? Yeah. Yeah. Pizza, Appalachianos Pizza, one of the top. I mean, if you guys are familiar with Appalachianos in the comments, let us know what your, some of the things you love about the, this incredible pizza place. It's probably in the top 50 in the state. Oh, yeah, yeah. In Myrtle, West Virginia, I would say it's number one. Um, <laughs> one of the best places to hang out. But you got video games, a few, you know, a little arcade in the corner. Um, Good music. Yeah, probably great, music, a, great a, jukebox. A, almost fully functioning jukebox. Uncle Freddy there, you know, spinning pizzas. Uh, Benny's out there sometimes spinning tunes. And it's, it's a, <laughs> do you like the ones that spinning tunes? I don't know if they have 45s. I don't know, I don't know if they'd actually spin the, it's, it's a guess. It's either the radio Man, we're gonna need a fact checker for you know, this. Improv for this is, did you have, YouTube re- live did you have, did they invent music when you were growing up? Did they have music? Had it, it been all discovered live. yet? It was all live. We had this guy named Homer who used to tell us stories. Um, Homer Simpson. <laughs> wow. Oh dear. Hey, we have another winner. Uh, somebody just won a Jack Zulu <laughs> and the loser. That was really fast. It seems like you lost a lot quicker than <laughs> your, your ship. I've been blew practicing up a all lot day quicker this, than Josiah's he, did. He did not come prepared. Team Team Sam is struggling this first uh, this first outing. Okay, but how cool is this? Uh, the person who won uh, the ne- uh, the Jack Zulu shirt, his name is Josiah Pets. Is it me? Oh, hey, 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 hey. nice, Josiah Whoa. and Julie Martin. Julie Martin, you have won the Green Ember mug. Julie Martin. Julie, Julie Martin. I am super happy for you. Julie Martin might live in California. I might know Julie Martin. Well, I don't. I don't know, but she's Julie getting a mug. Get in the mug. JackZulu.com. Yes. So, so um, as far as claiming your prize, uh, all you need to do is go to JackZulu.com slash giveaway. And there are instructions there, very clear instructions about how you can um, claim your prize. We'll need, you'll, we'll need to get your address. Um, so it's not a scam because... Yeah, we just told you you won in front of it's real. the whole world. So um, that's what you'll need to do. Um, okay. Do you know what you did? What your, top, what your score was? No, I forgot. I should. Oh, the high, it's the high score. It's Surely someone's keeping score. Hey, Josiah, what stories influenced the themes of this book? I think you touched on it a Ooh. little bit a few minutes ago. But what, you know, can you have any more to yeah, say about that? Yeah, so... Specifically, the themes of this book may be different from like the actual, like what happens in the book, sort of the plot stuff. I would say the big themes are like 
They come from C.S. Lewis a lot. Uh, he wrote. Oh my goodness, you just died. I'm going to start the sex one. Uh, so, yeah, C.S. Lewis, G.K. Chesterton's um, orthodoxy was a big influence on both of us, uh, just in life and in writing uh, Jack Zulu. It's also got kind of a Wizard of Oz sort of core thematic uh, structure. It's we don't kind of. Give too, we don't yeah, too no, much I don't away. spoil it, but. Um, um, yeah. Let's see, those are the main ones. It's a, it's a lot about gratitude. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was this but, a fun experience for no, you? It was was uh, terrible. Yeah. No, it was so much fun. It was, yeah, it was incredible. Most co-authors don't, you know, cohabitate too. They don't live together. So it's just cool to, you know, write a story with your dad and, and have this kind of relationship. Um, hey, let's um. Oh, am I? Everything that's I was scrunching a confetti. He's uh, yeah. making noise. Sorry. Being fidgety. Okay. Scrunching a confetti. Right. 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 <laughs> Stealing all your fun, taking your toys away. Um, what about you, Sam? Was this fun for you? I loved it. Yeah, it was really great. It's, it's really cool because writing a novel can be kind of a lonely business a little bit. It's like, a, you know, you do it by yourself. And um, so having a partner, uh, somebody that's really good. And, and Josiah has helped me a lot with a lot of my stories. So it, it was just kind of like, um, I don't know, it just felt like you're not alone and, and you've got... Uh, and he's got great ideas. He's, got, he's just really good with stories, and, and so it was just really fun to go to the go to the process with a lot of help. It was like having a like playing a game or something, playing a pickup game of basketball, and you got this really good player that comes along and is like on your team. It's just Except awesome. you not just, basketball because I'm, I'm really terrible at basketball. Yeah, that's one thing I actually am better than you am at. <laughs> Still, even in my old age. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, so um, are there plans to make this into a movie? Adelaide, Adelaide has asked. Ooh, Adelaide. Are there plans to make this into a movie? Man, that would be that would be awesome. Well, tell, tell I, yeah, about I, how it started. Yeah. I started writing Jack Zulu as a TV series, actually. So, I it's it's kind of felt like it's always meant to to be on the the screen. Oh um, <laughs> man, you're not very good at counting. I am Don't struggling. Count. That is, I am not doing well. It's, it's looking, it's looking good for my favorite. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Jack player. always. I think, I think, I mean, we have plans to make it into uh, into a movie or a TV show or something of that kind. I think that would be incredible. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for the awesome question, Natalie. Um, if you could live anywhere other than West Virginia, where would you live? Have you ever thought about that? Hmm. Italy. Just come up with that, like on the. No, I've okay, I've thought, thought about this. Thought about it. It's um, Florence. I would love to live in Florence, Italy. Okay. I think that would be incredible. I've I've never been. I've seen pictures and it looks beautiful. And I think that would be a super cool place to live. Yeah. Well, it's really far or, away. It's really far away from here, and me. It is. That's true. It's true. But I'm sure it is beautiful. And if you live there, I will need to come there too. Yeah. So you know. I mean, just to visit. I, you're mm -hmm. not going to be stuck with me. Here. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, here's another good question. Oh, oh, no, we have some more winners. Hey, Ooh, winners. Nora, we have something else to celebrate. I don't know how to use this thing, but I'm going to use Someone it. Someone just won the tote bag. Ooh, those tote bags um, are cool. It is. Are you ready? Oh, it's right there. Who won the tote bag? All right, slide over. Oh, home. okay. Welcome back. Um, this one? Elizabeth? Peterson. Yeah! Winner, winner! Wait. Great. So happy for you. Oh, not that one, Micah. Oh, man. How does this smell? They're coming for oh. me, guys. <laughs> that smells good. Ooh, they have smoke How in them. No, did he pull the string? Hey. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Corey Lewis won an ornament. So that's exciting, too. Corey. Oh, Corey! They came from, coming from behind. Wonderful. Okay. Way to go, Corey. So what's the score situation here? What's going on? I think on it's with pretty your even. I'm crushing him. It's pretty even. You're the high him? score is thirty-one thousand points. How are we? Um, we should tell people how to be entered for the big prize. So at the, at the end of the night, um, which should be here, I don't know how long we'll go. Maybe we'll go thirty minutes. Maybe we'll go a little bit longer. Um, but we won't go too too super long tonight. Um, but the big prize at the end of the night is going to be like all the signed books. That's all ten Green Ember books, and that's the. Um, Jack Zulu, and it's a shirt, a mug, a bag, an ornament. What else? Who knows? Anything else? Oh, I don't, I don't know, but, but anyway, he just got captured. The way that's good. He ain't gotten <laughs> captured on purpose, yeah. actually. Oh, okay. Um, so we can talk a little Galaga strategy yeah. here if we want to. But 
But so to enter for the big, big prize at the end of the night, um, we asked if you guys would do a, an Amazon or a Goodreads review. We don't have it ready on Audible yet. Um, hopefully it'll be uh, pretty soon. Ooh, that was another it's question. Kind of, exactly. is, there is an audio book coming though, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. It's going to be awesome. But um, yeah, we're going to give away the, a big old mega huge set of everything. Somebody's going to win who's watching tonight. And all you got to do is, is if you did a review on Amazon or on Goodreads, just copy your review that you did. Just go find it. There's not that many there now. Go, go find yours, copy it, and paste it into the comments. And when you pa paste it into the comments, you will be entered to win the big prize. And uh, for now, for this next one, to get entered into it, just say, like, where you're from. Just say, like, hello, where you're from. And if you don't want to be super specific, like, your street address, that's not what we're asking for. Yeah. We, um, like, what color your house is or, like, you know, any kind of special instructions for delivery people. We don't need that right now. We just need, like, city or state um, or city and state, that kind of thing, if you want to tell us where you're from or country. And we would love to that's like Italy. pick from the next thing. <laughs> if you're from Florence, Italy, we're sending you books for free. <laughs> wow. That is Josiah. a big commitment right there. Yeah. We just, you missed oh, oh, I just, got I just lost both my guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's where I would live if I didn't live in West Virginia. It's yeah, you missed that question. Florence, Italy? Oh, I can't okay. talk and play this at the same time. Um, Somebody give them some gum. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so so whoever is entered for this next one, we will. That's what we'll do. You, you, you'll um, it'll be just tell us where you're from. Okay, another question. Okay. Was there a specific '80s movie or song that helped set the mood for the story? Josiah, you can you can speak to this one. I can. Yeah. I um, there's a lot of different answers to that question. There's a fun song that we both we both really like Neil Young. Uh, and Neil Young has a song called Everybody Knows This Is Nowhere. And it's not, it, it's a little bit before the 80s, but it's, um... They could have listened to it in the 80s. Yeah, no, it In fact, in the early drafts. Oh, it's, is it in it, the book? It's in the book, oh, yeah. You'll, the you'll book. hear a little bit about it if you read the book. Uh, and so we both really love that song, and it really, it, 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 it has a lot to say about the themes of the book, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also both love the Karate Kid. I think there's a lot of Karate Kid kind of hiding in Jack Zulu, uh, if you look for it. I think that's just because the Karate Kid is is like a is the greatest movie of all time. But yeah, so like every good story it's has it. a little Karate Kid in it. I think that's the, um, that's the truth. Yeah. Uh, someone wants there, to know. There's a Spotify list, right? Yeah, yeah, there's a Spotify playlist. Oh yeah, playlist. It's a lot of fun. It's got like a bunch of 80s songs. <coughs> on it. Spotify playlist for Jack Zoo. How do you do that? I'm not on Spotify. Uh, so just I'm still listening. We to can probably, we can link to we that. We can probably do a link. Uh, for that. And it's just on. <coughs> just search up Jack Zoo and the Wayland is key on Spotify and you'll find it. Is it on your website? Probably not. It should be. Okay. Cool. Someone wants to know if Jack Zulu and the Green Ember are connected in any way. Um, like, like does Jack Zulu have a pet rabbit or? It's named Picket. <laughs> and it has a sword. <laughs> um, no. No, there's not. I mean, there, there's like th thematic. Uh, yeah, we gotta be as quiet as we can here. Oh, sorry. Can. Sorry. Um, do you want to connect? Keep taking things away from me. Just hit me. <laughs> no, like when you were a toddler. No, no. Don't touch. Um, there's so yeah. There's uh, there. I think there's like a thematic sort of connection to them. That, oh yeah, definitely. like if you a lot of the same values. I think. Yeah, yeah. You can talk about that. Like, yeah, yeah. Bit. I mean, they're, they're both sort of adventure. Green Ember's not really fantasy. This is more fantasy than Green Ember, but swashbuckling adventure I mean, stories. Green Ember's it's got uh, you know, it's rabbits. Uh, right. This is huge. Stuff. That that is a that is a fantasy element. It's, That's true. Yeah, I didn't think about it that way. It's a kind of I call it a, a like a low fantasy. Yeah. So Jack is more high fantasy, I would say. It's, but I think, <laughs> but it's not a high fantasy at all, really. Or just like keep disagreeing with everything I say. That's, that'll be fun. <laughs> that'll be fun. Now we're getting to the true dynamics here. Hey, so we do have a couple more winners, but I did want to say that if you can still uh, be entered to win the grand prize, if you could, if you go to Amazon or Goodreads right now and do a oh, review, yeah, yeah. you can still do that. So mm -hmm. um, get on that. It's a good. It's a good. A nice haul for your for your. And that helps um, us so much. Like just doing an early, early reviews help us. You know, it just helps a lot for people to be able to see it. Like Amazon sees that people are into it, and then they they um, they share it. So we've got the ebook is available right now. The audiobook is not available just yet. It's going to be. You know, we're going very soon. We're working on it. We hit some unexpected delays with that, which is a big bummer. We'd hope to have it out today. That was our goal. 
Um, but we're not in control of everything, and we learned that with this. <laughs> Before this, we thought we were, but now we don't. I feel like that's a lesson we keep having to learn over and over again. Yeah, for sure. But um, but the ebook is available. It's three ninety nine. If you want to get that, that'd be great. Um, okay. And we're also having just speaking about Amazon for a second. And oh yeah. We're having a Good little shot. bit of a delay with them, um, with our, like, uh, with they're 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 supposed to they've had those the books there for uh, I said this in our newsletter but they're um, they've had the the books there on their dock for a while but they haven't processed them for some reason you know you can think of a million reasons why maybe not but one of them is that we're not a super high priority for for, for them. Uh, I think uh, so. They're they're a little bit delayed in, in shipping. We we have just found out. Um, so that's a bit of a bummer. Um, but you can always order from our store. Always order from our store. You can still get. Do we still have signed books? We still have like a few. <laughs> we don't have very many, but uh, we yeah, we extended that a little bit. Oh no. man. <laughs> Close. Okay, so I don't think that we said this when we were listing all the things people could win, but you can also win a uh, sword. Picket sword, and so someone has just won that. Ooh. Uh, are we ready to celebrate? I'm so Peachy three four nine two, who just won a sword. Yes, yes. yes. Peachy. 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 Is it, this is amazing. Peachy like the fruit, or Peachy like Peachy Woodhouse? Hey, it worked. Not only did someone win wow. a sword, but also a necklace goes to hey. Kelsey Bogus. Let's go, Kelsey, Kelsey Bogus. Kelsey, you're go. getting a necklace. Remember oh. to go to jackzulu.com slash giveaway for the instructions on how to claim your prize. And um, C Victoria Music Good job, C just Victoria. won the new Green Ember hat. C the Victoria. beanie. The beanie. So way to go. You guys, that's fun. Uh, has anyone ever played Dig Dug? I Dig Dug is hard. I tried to play it, and it's like, it's not as easy as Mario or Galaga or Pac-Man even. It's hard. It's I really vaguely hard remember game. playing Dig Dug as a kid, but I don't. It's been a while. Dig Dug is fun. I like Dig Dug. Is that where you dig and then you get you find Doug? Is that He's in there somewhere. <laughs> He's in there somewhere. <laughs> How long did it take you guys to write Jack Zulu? That's that's a good question. It is a good question. I, Jack Zulu has technically been like in development, I guess, for three or four. Why do you laugh? Oh, I just think it's funny you said in development. I mean, is there a better term for that? No, I just think it sounds like we're. Let um, us know in the comments below. Is there a better term for in development <laughs> that I should have used? Um, so yeah, I've been writing it for a long time. I started out as a TV show. I started when I was thirteen, so that's three or four years ago now, mm -hmm. give or take. No, not give or take. It's been, <laughs> it's no. been within. Let's do some math. That no, let's not. I'm homeschooled. Um, <laughs> That's better than your best score. Okay, new high score. All right. So, so, yeah. um, but it took us. How long did it take you to actually write the the, the product, the manuscript? When we fin you know, as we finish it, I would say it's probably. Yeah, that music is like you're the best. I think that's what that music is saying. I'm celebrating you, somebody, your accomplishment. Somebody tell me if I have. Uh, confetti on my head. Oh, do I? Well, you look great anyway. But, oh, well, um, thanks. But, so I don't think, I think when we actually started, I, I don't know, I'm going to guess like six months? Yeah. Sounds, six months to a year. Yeah. Sounds right. Uh, now I'm super annoyed by my victory music. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. No. Okay. Oh, what has been your favorite Jack Zulu character? Mm. Pick a favorite child, Josiah. <laughs> <laughs> I know mine. Hey, um, just before they answer that, uh, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, we're we're always adding content to that, and uh, it's a good place for us to connect with you. So that would be great if you could do that. Yeah. Press the button. We're wherever such, it we're is. We're such bad YouTube. <laughs> we're not. Uh, yes, but people. but we do put things there for you to view. So anyway, <laughs> uh, favorite Jack Zulu character. I'll say mine is uh, Jack. I love Jack. I oh. think he's a, a wonderful character. I love um, how it, it would be really simple for him to be kind of a cliche as far as because he is kind of a, because he's a hero and he's got a lot of these traits of like a classic kind of hero. He's um, he's a good fighter. He's athletic. He's strong. Um, he's smart. So he's got a lot of um, talents. And I think so. His his questions are not around like capacity. Like, uh, do I have the capacity? To, it's more about the moral component, which I think is true for a lot of um, characters that I love. Um, so I like the the, the um, 
I like this sort of central struggle that he has. It, you know, the, the the question is not whether or not he's gonna, whether he's going to be great or not. Like he's going to be great. The question is whether he's going to be good. And I love him as he struggles through that, like um, whether or not he's going to make the right choices to be good or not. I, I, I don't know. He's and he's a little little complex and because there's a, a little bit of his uh, sort of African. His dad's Zulu, which I, I lived in South Africa as a kid and when I was Jack's age. And so the fact that he's sort of divided between Africa and West Virginia, and he's got, he's sort of, even between, he, even before he escapes into this fantasy world, he um, he's already sort of tra uh, caught between two worlds. Mm. And I love that because that, that's, I kind of felt like that a little bit as a kid. And uh, and so mm. I relate to it a lot. So I, I, I love Jack. I so I'll let you say your favorite in a second, Josiah, but somebody asked, um, which is relevant to this, will Jack Zulu be... Um, the the main character in other books is he? That's interesting. That's an interesting question. Um, where did I just see it? Yeah, well, well, Jack will be in. He'll be the main character in this trilogy. Um, spoiler alert! Uh, that we'll, we're going to do three. You know, we're planning to do three books of this series. So yes, he's he's. You think of him like a Harry Potter or a Percy Jackson or something like that. He's a or an Enderwig, and he's kind of carrying this. Um, he's the main character in these, this series, but um, outside of that, uh, we've got ideas. But yeah, um, but there's, uh, there's more to come for sure. Yeah, more to come in, in the Wayland and in the, in the world of the sort of the Waylander. That's kind of another big. We sort of think of that like the Green Ember, like this big universe that we can tell lots of stories in, and we plan to, and we want to. Is the Green Ember the universe? It's, it's a Is it a big ember? It's, it's the Emberverse. <laughs> That's That's somebody That's also cool do that. somebody also said, "Do you ever oh say?" Goodness. Do you ever say Zach Julu? So many. I say it all the time. Yeah, I've never said Isn't it. Isn't that once. interesting? <laughs> That's so funny. A lot of people said they're like Zach. Z Z J yeah. Huh. Yeah. I did not know that was. Uh, it can be. There you go. Huh. Okay. So who's your favorite, Josiah? I know what you're gonna say. What am I gonna say? Tell yeah. me what you think he's gonna say, and then if he says it, you'll be right. Benny. It's Benny. <laughs> Whoa. It's Benny you Marino. Are. You know your son so well. Dude. Yeah, then he's he's great. Kid. He's great. He's hilarious. He's kind of the comic relief, uh, but he's he's important. He has a little more, you know, than meets the eye as far as character development goes. So I, I like Benny a lot. He makes yeah. me laugh. He it's it's instead of Jack, it's a little more easy to see uh, how limited Benny is. Like, mm -hmm. and limited characters are interesting. You know, like characters who who are struggling or in pain or have limits. Uh, and, and so Benny's very easily fits in that category yeah. in, in some ways, but he's got some real strengths that complement Jacks. And yeah, he's a he's a wonderful character. Ooh, we have some more winners. More winners. Winner time. It's winter time, not to be confused with winter time. Uh, so. Blue Oath Hat, right here, goes to Balcony Horse. Balcony Horse. Balcony Think we know horse. who that is. Whoa. Balcony Horse. Well, that was a good one, you guys. Wow. That feels very celebratory. Also, Balcony Horse, I'm stealing it from you because you're my friend. <laughs> I don't know who Balcony Horse is. You do know well, who Balcony okay. Horse is. Well, it's okay. You do. It's a, you it's know this story. person. Um, uh, John Andrews, you won a Fight Back shirt. John so that's Andrews. Cool. Congrats, John. And then there's one John. more. I'll let you guys, do you want to do another one? The Fight Back shirt. Do you remember what that looks like? Here. Pass me that shirt. Sorry, you were going to. The Fight Back shirt. We have these in all sizes, adult sizes, kid sizes, so. Um, when you go to jackzulu.com slash giveaway oh. to claim your prize, no. you'll also um, you'll give up your address and what size shirt or whatever you need. So, um, okay. So then we have one more. Uh, the mended wood T-shirt goes to Angela Mathis. Oh, yeah. Good job. Angela. Hey, oh, yes. that one hit me, Angela. <laughs> Did get you? Yes. <laughs> oh, so good. It's like Christmas in Britain. <laughs> what? What is that? The crackers. The crackers. Right? That's, what they, that's what they do on, in Christmas. They like, do they paper. Not know that. They do, they paper, do that in Florence, Italy. They do paper crowns. <laughs> the British people in Florence, Italy do that. Yeah, like Robert Browning. Hey, uh, uh, speaking of our sponsor, Appalachianos, hmm. do you think that pineapple should be a pizza topping? No. No? Absolutely not. I agree with my son here, surprisingly. Um, yeah. Are you wearing Balcony Horse's hat? Yeah. Okay. 
Balcony Horses have we we our um, publisher. Uh, we have we have a dispute. We have some <laughs> dissenters about pineapple in the background, whether it should be a topping on pizza or not. You could comment in the comment section <laughs> <laughs> about that if you Don't have comment opinions. anywhere else. <laughs> I, I will say I haven't tried it in like a long time. Hold this like I want to hold this opinion, you know. Honestly, right. I had the first place I tried that was the first place I tried that was in South Africa and it was pretty common over there like they did it. I feel like people overseas do that more than we do the um, pineapple pizza thing. So, I as a proud American, I feel like it's my patriotic duty to will you, uh, will you sing God bless the USA. I do it every time I eat pizza, yeah, and I don't put pineapple on it. That's kind of like, that's part of my ritual. That's what I do. Hey, this is kind of a good one, uh, or interesting. Are the Reds, in quotation marks, subliminally communicating Sam's love for Liverpool? That's a, that is a, that's a deep, um, interesting question from, uh, from a person who knows me, apparently he knows that knows our family loves the Liverpool Football Club, and we love uh, the, the Premier League. That's a soccer um, team, and uh, yeah, we they're they're called the Reds too. But no, before I even knew about the Liverpool Reds, I was a Cincinnati Reds fan. So I've been to you know, some games uh, as a child, and then some as an adult. Uh, we've gone to, we've gone to games together. My first ever baseball game that I went to was a Reds game. Yeah, so we yeah. love the we love Cincinnati Reds. Not not as big of a, a baseball fan as I am a uh, soccer fan now. So, you know, as I've gotten older, I don't have as much time to watch like every single league, every kind of sport. So I, I've kind of lost a little bit of track of what's going on with the Reds. This is a terrible. Game. You are doing terrible. <laughs> but um, but I but so I love Cincinnati Reds, and they're like the local team sort of for us. We're not we don't have a, any professional sports teams in our state, but um, people around here generally love. I don't know how to get out of that. Oh, good generally love the uh, Reds or maybe the Pittsburgh uh, Pirates but it was always the Reds in my family my papa would listen to I would listen to sit on the porch in um, in Wayne County West Virginia in Buffalo Creek and listen to the Reds games with my papa and uh, watch birds and, and that's uh, that's my childhood my dad loved the Reds so so I love all the teams my dad loves and that includes them the Cleveland Browns Cincinnati Reds uh, but most importantly the West Virginia Mountaineers that is important. Um, Josiah. Yes. Uh, are you going to join the Young Writers Workshop? Ooh. I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think that, yeah, you do. It's a, it's a thing that I do. It's, it's a, young Writers Workshop is awesome. And I think what they mean is, are you going to come and be a guest sometime and talk uh -huh. to them? Oh, my goodness. I'm the greatest Gallagher player ever. Yeah, it was really slick. Yes, Josiah will definitely join me, and we'll get on to the, to the Young Writers Workshop. I don't know if I trust him going on there alone. Um, because I don't want to give any bad advice, but the Young Writers Workshop is awesome. If you go to sdsmith.com slash writers, you will um, see a link to it, and it's a great place to learn for like young people, well, you're not gonna believe this, but young writers uh, who are trying to get better sense. at their craft. Um, it's got a cool guy named Josiah helps run it, a guy named Brett, and um, some other people, and it is wonderful. So yes, he doesn't know it yet, but he will be joining me there. Great, it is awesome. Well. So the answer to that question is yes. It sounds amazing. Yeah. Cool. It's a great group. Um, I guess this could go to either one of you, but uh, how do you separate reality and fantasy when writing a book? Is that hard for you to do, or hmm. because your 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 um, thing here says escape into reality? Hmm. That's a good. That's a big. That's a big conversation. Right? I feel like mm -hmm. I want to just answer this question with like, go read the book. Go read mm -hmm. Jack. It's one of those. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. But, but you maybe I will. Should we? No. Okay. It's not fair. That's not fair. It's not I don't fair. really have trouble separating fantasy and reality. I'm. I'm trying to think if I. If I do, I don't think I do. Mm -hmm. I mean. I think if your head's in the world of a story, you're thinking about that a lot, and that's the characters are bouncing around in your head, and it feels real uh, in a certain way. But me personally, I don't like. I don't necessarily think that the things that are in my story are real, no, yeah, physically. It's mostly about like the story. The escape into reality is not about like most people think of of of, uh, of stories as like a way to. Or a lot of people think of them as escapism, and, and Tolkien talked about this. Like, aren't 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 they just escapism? And he, one of his answers was like, well, if you're if you're a person in jail, like, is it is it okay to talk about something other than jails and jailers and that kind of thing? Like, there's a there's a kind of escapism that is appropriate in a broken and fallen world. 
but but more than that like i think that this book and the uh, this is definitely our heart is we want to tell true stories and that's what tolkien says he, he told true stories um that the lord of the rings is a true story it's probably one of the the best true stories i've ever read and that is not to say that the events are really happened but that the, that the story is faithful to reality with a capital R. Mm. And that's definitely what we wanted to do with this book. We wanted to we wanted this book to be an escape into reality. And that's that's what that's Heidi Johnson's phrase, this wonderful author and friend of ours, um, one of Gina's best friends. She's an amazing author. She's just so insightful. And she said that these best like these stories that are most faithful to the to the reality that of the world God made, to the Bible, to truth. Um, are not an escape from reality, but an escape into reality, even if they're fiction. And I just totally believe that. And I'm totally sold out on it. And that's really at the heart of this. Um, you're doing terrible. At the, there, this is. Uh, I'm still good. <laughs> you just, yeah, oh, no! You just blew him up. Um, All right. This is a terrible Protest. Situation. There's going to be. Yeah. We're okay. going to have to question. I will never run another book with you again. That's <laughs> not because of that. We're going to have to question the outcomes if, the, if that affects things. So, yeah, this one. Who were the. Who are the election officials in this county? Oh no, don't say that. Uh, <laughs> that's a terrible thing to say. It really is. It's topical though. Um, okay, so yeah, so that, that's a great question. So yeah, we, I don't think I never feel like oh this is so it's confusing. I don't know what's reality and what's not, but I I do think about the story as being like uh, infused with reality, whether or not the details are true. And just give give them the give them the chest quote. Give them the chest string quotation. If you you got to the end of the book, you probably saw it. Um, mm. Oh. Okay, the Chesterton quotation is... <laughs> Make sure you take a bite of food right before you answer the question. Hold on. I'll, I'm almost finished. <laughs> the Chesterton quote we're talking about is, um, he says something like, uh, is, I'm not going to get it exactly right, but it's like something like, in fairy tales, apples are golden so that we can remember uh, in the real world they're green, you know? And um, in fairy tales, rivers run with wine so that we can remember that they run with water in our world. So that's, um, that's something to think about. Yeah. And also, I have a question for you guys. Are Twizzlers even that good? Because I'm having one. <laughs> and I don't to know. question your life choices. I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's like it's, plastic. I'm going to eat it because, you know, it's candy, but... Yeah, they're not yeah. Good. yeah. Oh. Um, okay, ooh, some more winners. Winner. We're giving away Green Ember t-shirt, digital download of your choice, and a signed Jack Zulu. So, um... Oh. The Green Ember oh. shirt is going to Rob Cornelius. Rob Cornelius! Rob. Good job, Rob. Nice, nice. Good um, job, Rob. Good digital job, download Rob. is going to Ranger. Th all right, that's Ranger? all I got. Cool. Ranger. Ranger. You should get an apprentice and just, let's see what happens. Nice, Ranger. Okay, and then the sign Jack Zulu, Carrie Markey. Hmm. We're sending you a signed Jack Zulu, which we signed just a few weeks ago. Yes! In our warehouse here. Um, so remember, just go to jackzulu.com slash giveaway to claim your prize, to get us your address so we can send it out to you A-S as possible. What? That's good. Oh, that okay. Was, that was risky. <laughs> that was dangerous. It makes You're sense. Venturing into dangerous I, well, it was. Uh, I probably just won't like reuse that one, so... Note to self. And remember that you can be entered to win the big, huge, overall, massive, big old, I need a good name for that. Big old giveaway. Big old giveaway, big old mess of giveaway um, by copying the the um, review that you did at Amazon or that you're going to do. You can do it right now. It's super easy, super quick. It helps us an awful lot. So we're really grateful. And just copy and pasting that into the um, into the comments. That'd be really great. Yep. And let's know, are you like succeeding at that? Because sometimes when at the beginning they, they're like, they won't post them right away, which is fine. They're like, if you, you can just like write, write down what you did if they haven't posted it yet. That's fine. But yeah, let us know how that's going. If you're, if you're having <clears> trouble, I'd love to, or yeah, just how it's going in general. Um, have you guys ever thought about making either the Green Ember or Jack Zulu into a graphic novel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have. We actually talked to some publishers, uh, other publishers, about this. It's we'd like to, and I think we will someday. It's it's expensive and it's difficult, just because all those color pages, and it's time consuming. I mean, we'd love to do it um, someday. Um, our friend, uh, shout out to Joe Sutton, who we got to hang out with oh, yeah. this um, past weekend. A wonderful guy who's doing the graphic novel for Watership Down right now. And it's, it's it is, amazing. Oh, it's so, it's so, so incredible. Good. He's just an amazing. If you haven't gotten his, 
He just did a, an updated uh, version with Moody Publishers. It's mm -hmm. beautiful hardcover, Little Pilgrim's Progress. We should have one around here to show, but it's mm -hmm. like, it's so good. You should check it out and you should get a copy. It's like, people are just absolutely loving it. It is beautiful. And Joe Sutphin's an incredible artist. There's incredible rumors friend. that he's the greatest illustrator currently living. That's not I mean, a rumor. That's a fact that I <laughs> say all the time. Cause it's, I, I, cause I it's tend true. to. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of I really agree. great illustrators out there, and we know a lot, but he is, whew, he is, he's awesome. Yeah, so good. And he's got amazing hair. Have you seen his hair? Just go look at his Instagram or something. Wow. I mean, it's just. It's and great always, personality, too. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty great cool. sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, he's a good, yeah, he's a good um, guy. Shout out to Joe Sutton. Shout out to, speaking of our, our trip that we just got back from, shout out to Top House, the band. Top House, the band, are awesome. Check out. We've been binging them lately because we just met uh, these guys. Really, really awesome. Um, I don't know, like a Shout out to um, Top House. Shout out to giving shout outs. Shout out to Twizzler. Twizzlers. No. But no. it's a bad no, no. shout out. It's shout, shout out, out to, to like, the, don't eat Twizzlers. Out to Twizzlers. You pick if you had to pick of all this candy. Oh, right here. Sour Patch Kids. Oh, yeah. What about you, Jason? Uh, Anything but Twizzlers? Anything but Twizzlers. Your choices are what are they? I think Twizzler or Lobby's gonna it, come. This is Mike mine. and Ike's. I like Reese's. Sour Patch Kids a lot, and I like milk. Uh, milk milk beds. Milk beds are bad. Oh, you uh, were gonna eat the Whoppers, Whoppers. but we took them away yeah. from you. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoppers, That's good. Whoppers are Whoppers. Really I ate a lot when I was a kid. And it probably, you know, you are what you eat. So. <laughs> what, is that? what does I'm that mean? That means I'm a Whopper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, so um, so two <laughs> things here, like a question and a follow up. Um, how a father and son write a book together or a father and child write a book together is my 10 year old ready to co-write a book with me and vice versa and then also uh, did Sam and Josiah ever disagree were there moments in the process where they disagreed about where the story should go or, or something He's about um, to pass. the direction of the story oh my goodness folks I'm still alive <gasps> this game is horrible Come on, don't, terrible. get him get him get him Yo, oh my <laughs> goodness! Oh my gosh! I was on. I hate to root for his thirty-two thousand points, but I need this. I need this. Because he's not life. a very good writer. He's gonna be a professional Galaga player. Yeah. And there you <laughs> go. Um, so we're having more Mexican coke. Uh, <laughs> just take it easy. Okay. Just take it easy. Holy cow! Um, now, what, what, what do you think about that? So, so ten-year-old. I mean, I would say probably not. I mean, almost. Oh. That, that would be difficult. But maybe. It just depends on the kid. Um, I think Josiah was unusually um, ready to, and, and I think we had a, a, a unique s situation to where we were able to do it. But why not try? Why not just go for it? Why not? Why not just do some for fun? It doesn't have to be for like yeah. uh, for all time, like trying to hit the bestseller list of all time. But anybody can write a book. Like, like do it. Yeah. Go for it. It's all awesome. stuff. Yeah. But whether or not you're ready to do that, like professionally, like we we paid for this coke with this because you know his Mexican. We got to keep him in Mexican coke, and maybe if you're trying to keep yourself in Mexican coke, maybe that's not the maybe that's not the thing to do. But but uh, for fun, good grief, yeah, do it. It'd be awesome. Did we ever disagree? Yes, we disagreed. I but I think we I both. That. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. Um, I think we both really care about the story, and we, we have the same heart for the story. So when we disagree, I think we're able to resolve those differences because we, we care about the story and we want what's best for the story. Oh, oh my And goodness. I think I was, like, witness to a little bit of that. Uh, at, at one point, they were in the living room, like, talking about something and uh, clearly, like, disagreeing. Um, and it got kind of quiet, and I was like, "Oh, this the tension is rising here." But, but then Sam's like, "Okay, yeah, I think I made it work without that whatever it was that he didn't want." You know, it was just like they they had worked out those disagreements in a healthy way. It felt like to me the things that I saw. So, yeah, oh, good job. On, right. In between, the, it didn't, I know. good job, fellas. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, I felt like it was. I didn't. I didn't never. I never felt like we had a big, like a big, like oh my goodness, we're. we're I never felt like despair about no. our disagreements. We, it felt like it was we didn't all have irreconcilable differences. No, no. Yeah. And Josiah, since it was Josiah's story to begin with, I really got to credit him because he was—he's just really open to collaboration and really open to like the idea that the best idea wins. And I think he was just like we just both make a case for it. And I think sometimes I would yield, and and um, sometimes he would yield to the other person. But it was always about like neither of us had you know bad motives I don't think about it or we know we, there's a high degree of trust and I think that made working together a lot easier and fun you know oh my goodness yeah. not as fun as watching him lose Galaga 
<laughs> oh, this one's for me. Is fiction writing part of your homeschool curriculum? Ooh. Uh, I don't. I'll let you answer that one, <laughs> Gina. <laughs> is fiction writing part of your homeschool? Curriculum? I don't think it is, or well, it has it, been in do, the past. We've been right. We you, you signed us up for those classes. And I know. I know. And all I that. currently it isn't. We're not doing anything like that right now. But yes, I did. Uh, we did some classes uh, early on. Where Josiah wrote some pretty cute stories, I will say. I just Nora just and had wrote, a fun. Um, it was a fun experience, though. I, I don't like want to make them do something they don't th that it's going to steal the joy uh, of stories and um, so. Yeah. Nora just wrote this cool thing about Theseus, and that was that was really good. She yeah, was really they've done some rewriting of of stories just like to get get the hang of uh, retelling things. Yeah, so yeah. That. Okay. Pause Gallagher I, from the, the stream struggle a bit. We're just going to take a break from that. Okay. Ooh, pause from Gallagher and just talk. We're just going to chit chat. Mom, do you have a favorite movie? Do I have a favorite movie? Oh, man. Is that for you? This is for you. Your brother Thank got you. that for you. Such a good man. What a fella. Oh, man. I don't. Do I. This is. Uh, no, I don't. Have name, a name a favorite movie. Name a movie. Name, na name, any name movie. a woman. Name, any <laughs> name a woman. <laughs> I probably watched Anne of Green Gables like that's your favorite movie. thirty mo thirty times when you know when I was a kid. So that's maybe that's my favorite. Great movie. Answer. Movie. That was a great answer. Yeah. What a great movie. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. And we're talking about the am, old one. With, um, I also am like a, a big fan of the <laughs> the BBC early version of Pride and Prejudice. It's like I don't know. It's like eight hours long. Oh yeah. Both of those, those series are like must watches. <laughs> yeah. I think you introduced sure. me to maybe both of those. Maybe so. Um, when we get, got married, I think. And I loved them both so much. Do you have a favorite movie? I do have a favorite movie. Do you want to say it? Do you want to yeah. share it? It's The Karate Kid. That's no Yeah. No surprise to people who know me. Uh, and I also love It's a Wonderful Life. I think It's a Wonderful Life might be the, the greatest movie of all time. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That great. is a really yeah, good that's one. That's my two. What about you, Sam? Um, yeah, I love both of those. I love It's a Wonderful Life. I love Casablanca and and The Adventures of Robin Hood. The Errol Flynn movie is a real favorite for sure. Um, I love all Ken the Kenneth Branagh, um, uh, Shakespeare, Shakespeare stuff, mm -hmm. especially Henry V is like my favorite one. So Hen probably Henry V, yeah, It's a Wonderful Life, Adventures of Robin Hood and Casablanca are probably my top four. I love Joe versus the volcano. I mm. think that was maybe that was in the eighties, or maybe it was nineties. Well, they just asked for one movie, so <laughs> that's kid, enough. Kid that's kid enough. We're moving on. Mine. We're moving on. Oh, uh, we have more things to give away too, and that's what people yes. want. That's what they want. We do want another um, signed Jack Zulu. Somebody asked, how long did it take to sign all those Jack Zulu books? When Three years. <laughs> Uh, to write it, to sign it, to sign it, to yeah, sign three it. years also. So, um, no, when we did remember. that a few weeks ago, I mean, it was just it was like six hours, six hours maybe, maybe less. It, yeah, yeah, something like that. It was five and a half, six hours, or something like that. Yeah, it took it took a while. That was my first time ever signing with somebody else for that mm -hmm. long of time, and just I did, he did pretty good. He's good at writing his name. I think the whoever's his homeschool teacher deserves a lot of credit. Yeah, we spent a lot of time on handwriting, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pretty so bad. signs Jack Zulu is going to Savannah H. Hey, Whoa, Savannah. Hey. Oh, Whoa. Yes, there we go. Savannah, nice. Okay, and then we're giving away two ornaments. One is going to Jody B. I think we know Jody who B. that is. Jody B. Jody Good B. Good job. Uh, and Aaron Fleeg. Fleeg. Aaron Fleeg Fleeg. <laughs> Congratulations. Good job. Aaron okay, Aaron and then Fleeg one more Fleeg. digital download of your choice goes to Laurel Stein. Laurel Stein. And well you, done. Oh, it's an audiobook of your choice. Uh, audiobook, Laurel Stein. Um, you're getting an audiobook and. Just say which one it is when you go to jackzulu.com slash giveaway to claim your prize and give us your address so we can send you stuff. You don't have to do that because it's an audiobook, but you know, um, just say which one you want when you go do that. So good job. Wow. Well done. So I think are we, we're, we're, we're near the end, eh? And um, we've got three more giveaways. Let's do those three and then three before the last one or? Yeah. Okay, let's do those three now okay, well, and then we'll do when the they, When they get chosen, we'll, de we'll definitely get do chosen. those. Um, I'm going to give Twizzlers another try. Oh my gosh. we got to <laughs> give them a second chance, guys. Name your favorite uh, candy in the, in the thing, in the, in the comments. 
Let us Ooh, know. Oh, name your favorite mm, movie. Yeah. What's your favorite? Do you guys have favorite authors? S.D. Smith. S.D. Smith. We okay. agree about a, we have a lot in common. Good job. We, we've never disagreed. Um, no, my favorite authors are, are um, I love Tolkien, and I love Patrick O'Brien, I love P.G. Woodhouse, C.S. Lewis, uh, Louisa May Alcott, Jane Austen. Okay. Um, Good. What about it? you? That's all I got. Okay. I would say probably Jeff Kinney, okay. author of uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. What in the world? <laughs> Uh, I actually do kind of like those uh, books, but we don't need to talk about that. I like <laughs> C.S. Lewis, G.K. Chesterton, Alexander Dumas. I uh, wrote my favorite book of all time. Uh, Orson Scott Card. Charles Dickens. I have I have read Charles Dickens before, yeah. I read A Tale of Two Cities. That was great. Yes. Honestly, One solid these. five out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, ridiculous. Uh, did you scrap any characters? When you were writing Jack Zulu? Yes. I can't remember. You scrapped one of my favorite characters. What was... There was you did it. You scrapped For the first it. couple years that we... That Jack Zulu oh, was yeah. in development. Um, <laughs> we, uh, there was a, a character who, you know, he might come back at some point. I think... His name's... Are you talking about Gander? Gander, too. We lost him. Gander was... There's a, two characters that we lost. Well, one, one was actually in the, in the manuscript. Will they ever come back? G Gander was in the manuscript, too. Remember? Gander still exists. He's, oh, he's yeah. in... He's canon. He's he's in there, but he's not... He didn't... We had to cut his scene. Yeah, he had a good scene. He did have a good scene. I remember. But I think we some stuff just... Maybe for time concerns, we needed to kind of condense things a little bit. Or um, just didn't... They weren't necessary for the story. I think... Who's the person you're talking about? His name is Sordon. Remember oh, him? Yeah. Oh, he was yeah. kind of like a Spock type. He was super logical and kind of understood the Wayland. And he was he was good, I think, in the edition that he existed in. But it, he wasn't needed anymore. So we determined. Was that hard? Uh -uh. No. Okay. Cool. Okay. So we have our last three winners before we do the grand prize. Um, another audio book is going to Kendra Ardis. Ooh, Kendra. Hey, hey. Kendra. Then we have... We're running low um, on our, our supplies. I know. Yeah. Our, our, um, thought we weren't going to run out, but apparently we did. Um, uh, two signed Jack Zulus. One is going to Skeeter Skeeter. Skeeter so Skeeter. Hey. That's coming is your that way. And Ashlyn Campbell. Hey, Ashlyn. You're getting the signed Jack Zulu. Nice. Woo! So that, really that is great, you guys. Remember jackzulu.com slash giveaways uh, to figure out how to get your prize, to claim it. So that's that's the last giveaways that we're doing before the grand prize. Okay. So Great. Um, well, any questions everybody. that we need to get to? Um, otherwise, we can. do you want to say anything to, to folks, like a, 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 a thank you or um, this is where you give the big, long speech? Make it as good as like the Christmas Day speech, but like a little more down to earth. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll give you time to think. You want time to think? I mean, no. I, I just thanks so much, guys. Like whoever's getting the book or has read the book, like and leaving reviews. That's really helpful. I just thanks so much for you know reading what we what we put out there. That's that's awesome. It's such a pr it's such a privilege to do this. Um, it's a really good, it's a really fun job, and it, uh, we feel really grateful to be able to do it. And, and to be kind of partners with you guys. It's a, it is like, as you can see, with all our, our faults and foibles, and uh, we, we, it's a family business. And, you know, we got our daughter scraping up confetti so she can throw it again. That's, a, that's, that's, the, kind of, <laughs> that's the kind of operation we're dealing with here, which is, which is pretty cool. We, we love to be able to do it together, we work together, and to bring Josiah into this, who's a really, really wonderful storyteller and, and, a, and a great writer and he's kind of going towards filmmaking I think and developed this show this book as a show um, originally and it was, it was really fun to be able to do that together but to, for you guys to trust us to, for this to be our 11th book that we're putting out uh, the first one us together but the 11th book that our little companies put out with our little family it's really three families at the heart of this business um, and really maybe more too when you include like we have Natalie um, and we, uh, Morel, who's really helped us so much. She's helping us tonight. You see her in a lot of videos. She creates a lot of stuff. She's great. We've got the Andrew McKay and his family, um, and Josiah Smith, who Josiah is named after, who a lot of you guys know, and his family. 
and then our family. It's like a little, it's a little family business, and um, uh, we, it's a privilege to be able to do this, and we're really grateful. We, at the heart of what we do, we want to be hospitable to you guys and generous to you, and that's definitely, genuinely our heart. We don't have to fake that or anything. We love you guys, and we want to serve you. We want to serve your kids. We want to do good things, and we want to counter the the um, what we feel like is a real absence of hospitality to children and families that's that's in a lot of media and and um, sometimes it's just really like kind of grotesque hostility towards kids brutality at times and so we hate that a whole lot and we love um, being kind of an alternative to that and to to, to give good gifts um, we feel like there's a lot of poison dishes out there and we just want to make a good meal and serve it and that's how we feel we don't feel like superior elite artists who are just amazing and great need to be work no we just feel like uh workers who just want to serve and do a good job and give good things to you guys we feel like we're, we're serving meals and um, of kind of soul food and we, we 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 think it's powerful we think it's important um and and uh but we're your allies and we want to do it alongside you guys but we know that what, us doing this work we can't do it unless we have support and you guys backing us up doing buying the books and telling your friends about it which you just which you just you guys do so amazingly i just we just want to say thank you yep. for that so good if you want to try and get a review in on amazon or goodreads one last time you can copy and paste your amazon review or a goodreads review in the chat in the comments what you're entering to win is a jack zulu shirt a green ember mug a tote bag a sword, a necklace, signed Jack Zulu, a green ember ornament, the new hat, and a full signed set of green ember books. So huge, huge prize. One last call for getting those reviews in. Um, that is yeah. nine things. That is, why couldn't have we have made it an, an even 10, I wonder. Yeah. Well, one of the things has 10 books in it. Well, so this is true. There so you go. You're getting a lot, a lot more a than A lot more things. than 10 things. So um, really grateful. To everybody who's entered, everybody who's joined us tonight, and um, that's that's it's been fun. We've just enjoyed goofing around, playing video games, and I just wanted to, the record to show that um, yeah, top score, this? top score was uh, oh oh man, I believe was it? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, actually, for, oh, Yeah, remember no. you got to thirty-two, and then you couldn't, you didn't pass me. Yeah. Well, when they stop rolling the cameras. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> grind out some Galaga. I'm going to that high score. Yes. But no one will ever know. No one will ever know. So. Ooh, somebody wants to know who did the art for the cover of Jackson. Oh, Lou. we should have said that. Shout out him. for that. He drew it. We got two, so two cool things. That that person is Corey Godby, and he's an incredible artist. We incredible. for years we've worked with um, Zach Franzen, who is just the most brilliant guy and an incredible artist and and a wonderful collaborator. Mm -hmm. Zach's been just awesome to work with. He's such a fantastic guy. We love him so much. Um, but we fired him um, so that we could hire <laughs> Corey. Go Actually, I think he recommended Corey for this yeah. project and connected us with Corey. And so Corey's been fantastic. He's wonderful. He's going to be doing more art in this world. And uh, yeah, we That's love awesome. this cover. It's he so did, cool. He it's right there. It. You um, can see it. Yeah. What a guy. Yeah. What a, what a great, great job. Yeah. Um, and another person just want to tell you, well, not not too much, but just that, that our audiobook is coming and we're really excited about the the, um, the talent, just the, the performance on it. It's just really good. So we've had some good partners in, along the way with this with this story and this series and or this launch of this new series. And yeah. this is just the beginning. There's going to be a lot of cool stories in this world. So it's fun. It's that. Thanks for this is the day that it that a new thing launches. And Maybe it'll it'll stick with people and resonate with people the, the same way or a similar way that the, the Green Ember has. And we didn't know back then when we launched that like it could be this kind of thing that was just really, uh, that a lot of people really took home and loved. And so we were kind of excited about that. We've learned, a, we learned a lot from, from what we've done in the Green Ember, the Emberverse. And, uh, and we've applied a lot of that learning to what, to what we're starting out here with the, the Waylanders stuff and, and with Jack Zulu. So, so uh, we feel almost like better prepared. So we're to where we feel like we can give you an even better gift as we do this. So it's an exciting start for us. Thanks for being here with us at the very beginning. Yes. And if you maybe you could be. Are you so nervous that you might be winning this thing? It could be you. We do you have a winner, real. fellas. I'm nervous. We do and I'm have not a winner. Here. Oh. Um. um drum roll. Okay. We got everybody ready to fire. Oh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Our Sorry. grand prize winner this evening. Wait, wait. You have to do it like you do at the chef shows, like Great British Baking Show, where the editors are like, and the person going home and being murdered with spears is? And then they just wait, and they show the person. The person's like, 
And then they show the, <laughs> the judges are like, mm, we're mm, we're we we're not we can't doing do that. that. We're okay. just gonna tell them who. All right. Won. Okay. Here we go. All right. So our winner for the grand prize, all nine things plus some, <sighs> is. Mama Kendall. Mama Kendall. Let's go, Mama, Mama Kendall. Mama Kendall. Oh, are you doing it the wrong <laughs> I'm way? I'm like so apprehensive about this <laughs> popper thing. I think he doesn't know how to do them. Are you doing it the wrong way? Ah. <laughs> there it's, you go. Uh, All right. Yes. Yes. Hold on. I want to do it. Right. Right. Just don't you hit guys. anybody in the face. I. Oh my might be, God. This might be where I. <laughs> oh, that's actually really difficult. Oh, no, okay, I got it. I got it. Mama. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so that does Mama it. Mama Kendall, way to go. we've done what we came here to do tonight. Is it like Kindle, like the, like the, um. Kindal. Okay, not like a Kindle reader or Not a Kindle like reader, a Kindal. Jack's who is available on Kindle right now. Um, cool. Mama Kendall, congratulations. I hope you'll share it with all of your baby Kindles and, uh, and, and Papa Kindall and, um, everybody else in the, in the orbit there. But thank you guys, everybody who won tonight. Congratulations. Yep. Congratulations mm -hmm. to me who won tonight uh, in the Galaga thing. I don't know what I get. Disputed. I, I probably get the privilege of cleaning up thousands of little pieces of paper. I think that's, yep. that's, that's what's coming. Thank for you for future. coming to our home and watching my kid play video games. And, and watching husband. us wreck it. Yes. And eat candy. This is, this is, we're a very bad example. What did you say about poison meals? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So. Exactly. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Signing we off. We appreciate you. Signing off from West Virginia.